This is me getting my first legendary in Shadowlands. I wasted over 100k gold trying to get this thing and not understanding the process. So in this video, I am going to tell you guys everything you need to know about getting your first legendary and exactly how to avoid making the same mistake I did. I'm gonna cover the final pieces quest, rune vessels, soul ash requirement, and then finally upgrading your legendary. Don't worry, it's all pretty simple once you understand it so let's just hop right into it so if you're watching this video you are probably on the final pieces quest and this is the first step to acquire your legendary if you're not there yet just keep doing your quest from the rune carver and it'll pop up to complete this quest you need three things one rune vessel two missives and one rune carver memory the rune carver memory is the legendary you're trying to create they can be acquired in various ways a little bit later in this video i'll tell you how to find any legendary memory including the exact one you're looking for the vessel and the missives are things that you can buy from the auction house or make depending on your profession but we're just going to go through the auction house for this video this quest could be a little confusing because of all the new lingo this is all new stuff introduced in shadowlands so just to clarify it the rune carver memory is the legendary that you're trying to create the missives are the secondary stats that you want to go on that legendary so versatility mastery crit etc and the rune vessel is the gear slot that you want to use for that legendary so for your missives you can just head over to the auction house type the word missive into the search and you could grab the stats that you need in this case I want versatility and mastery. So I'll buy a missive of versatility and a missive of mastery. The rune vessel on the other hand is a little bit more tricky. This is where I lost my first bit of gold. And it's ultimately why I'm making this video because I didn't see anyone else explaining this. The type of vessel you need varies depending on the gear slot and type of your legendary. So the first thing is the gear slot. In order to find the gear slot for any of your legendaries, just open up your adventure guide, click the powers tab. Here you can see all the legendaries for your class and spec. If you mouse over any of them, it'll tell you the gear slots for that legendary. So in this case, I want to make my Serpent Stalker's Trickery and I can create this legendary as a piece of gear for either my shoulders or my finger. So shoulders or a ring. I mentioned earlier in the video that I'll show you how to find any legendary you're looking for. And this is where you find it right under the legendary slot. It tells you its source. So that source will be how you go about acquiring the memory for your legendary. As for the gear type, there are four different types of gear in WoW. There's cloth, leather, mail, and plate. Each type of gear has its own vessel name for its respective legendary. For cloth, it's Grim Veiled. For leather, it's Umbra Hide. For mail, it's Bone Shatter. And for plate, it's Shadow Ghast. Your rings, your neck, and your cloak don't exactly have a armor type, but for the neck and the rings, you'll have to search Shadow Gas, and the back will be Grim Veil. I'll throw this up on your screen right now. I'll also put it down in the description of the video. So in my case, because I'm a hunter, I wear mail. I want to create male shoulders, so I'll buy the Bone Shatter Pauldrons as my vessel. Okay, so this is the part where hopefully I save you guys a bunch of gold. When you go to buy your vessel, you may notice that there are other vessels of the same name and type at various item levels. Some of them are even at 235 already and pretty expensive. Like here's one for 500,000 gold. If you're watching this in week two, it doesn't make sense to buy anything other than the item level 190 vessel. I made the mistake of buying a higher item level vessel thinking that it would be allowed because it's a legendary but the item level of your legendary is limited by the amount of soul ash that you have to spend on it i'll talk about this a little bit more in a second but for now let's wrap it up because you actually have everything you need to go get your legendary so just head back to the mall head over to the rune carver turn in the quest after you're done with that talk to him again he'll now have an option for you to create legendaries select the memory the vessel and the two missives that you want on the legendary click create and boom you're done congratulations before you click off of the video though just some things you'll probably want to know about your new legendary there are four ranks to your legendary and if the one you just created is item level 190 because we're in week two then it is only rank one the other three ranks are item level 210 item level 225 
And lastly, item level 235. As you acquire more soul ash every week, you can come back to the rune carver and upgrade your legendary. You'll need to buy or create a higher item level vessel to do that. You can get your legendary to rank two after you've acquired 2000 soul ash. Rank three is 3200 and the final rank is 5150. So if you accidentally bought a higher vessel like I did, you could hang on to it and hopefully use it later on. The prices on it will definitely be lower a few weeks from now. So you would have still overpaid, but hey, at least you're not losing everything. If this video was helpful to you and you wanna see this channel grow, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. My name is Dooley. Some of you guys might know me from my Dragon Ball Super videos, but I've been playing a lot of WoW recently, so I would like to be able to make more WoW videos. The best way to support that right now is to click the subscribe button. Also, leave a comment below if I missed anything important about creating legendaries. Also, let me know what's your first Shadowlands legendary. If you made it this far in the video, do me a favor. Have yourself a great day. I will be talking to you again soon, hopefully. Bye.